This is Matt from the Dice of the Round Table, and tonight we have a round table talk, and I'm joined with two fellow knights that we've just uh, well, we just knighted one more, and the other one came back. We couldn't keep him out the back door. So, um, don't forget, it's May 2020. We have a subscriber uh, contest going on, so subscribe to the channel, like the video, any comments, questions, all three of us, I'm sure, will be able to respond. But I'm joined by Knight Jeepman Sam. Hello, hello. And I'm joined by a special guest, Knight Dave. Dave, tell us who you are. The games manager at Chuck's Comics in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, anybody that's been part of the Dice of the Roundtable, you've heard Matt drop our name. Um, I'm the guy who makes sure you get everything you want. I deal with a lot of distributors, so I can pretty much get almost anything. Almost. So... Um, We've got a game room. Come down and check it out. Waiting for Jeep Man Sam to make the trek. You know, have him check out our store. Blow his mind. He's only seen pictures of part of it. We got a lot more to show him. So it's weird. You usually only show me pictures of the product. I wonder why. Well, we can't show you the go-go room. Sorry, Sam. Oh. So for the topic tonight, we were talking about saving throws in games or no saving throws. So the topic came up because a lot of games, Games Workshop has a lot of games. They have that saving throw element kicked in. Um, there's only a few, like uh, Kings of War doesn't really have one. They don't have a saving throw. So, get, Dave, go ahead and get us started on that one. Um, I watched I watched the game last night. Um, we're talking about that game. Matt? Uh, okay, so, yes, we are. Okay, so... I am in the process of designing something. It's called Times of War. Um, it's going to be a generic rule set that we can custom fit to certain things as we tweak. And in it, we were I was taking in a fact of trying to streamline by taking in a fact your ability to hit someone by incorporating that into the to hit number. So instead of hitting just on five pluses, maybe reducing it to a seven plus to hit on a D10. So factoring in a saving throw element into it. and But the issue is it takes dice out of someone's hands. So someone else doesn't get to roll dice to save something. You know, like I said, if, if, if you were playing me and I was rolling with two units of archers and I peppered one of your units coming across the field, I can technically wipe them out and you have nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. So... Saving throw, at least you give, it gives you a little bit of power back in your hands to be like, well, yeah, I lost my unit, but I, I tried to save them. So, or if you save three of them, you know, it's, it's a moral victory. So, Sir uh, Jeepman, the, the Knight of One, how do you feel about that? Well, they wear armor, so they should have an armor save. But you roll one, so what does it matter? <laughs> See, that's I, I'm I'm kind of in concurrence with Dave. I understand you're streamlining, um, but it, it they still there was a chance of luck of miss. Um, what you get through the hit roll and the wound roll and all that. Um, but there is still that off chance by making a very small um, armor save. Nothing crazy, because armor back then, you know, it was it still couldn't stop an arrow, usually. Um, but there was still that chance that it would. It would hit that strong point. It would hit a certain part of the armor and would deflect. Um, their shields would get in the way. And I understand adding the rule in that, you know, um, like the, the legionnaires with their, their tower shields would get a bonus versus archery attacks. Um, but I still feel like, you know, you've got those nice, big, large Spartan round shields, as an example. Um, they were known to just catch. Must not say bad words. Um, <laughs> Roman big. Spartan small. The Spartan shields were... Oh, you mean while they dance around in tutus? Spartans? Are you talking about the Macedonians? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. They have skirts. Macedonians do have skirts. That's right. So does Spartan. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Spartans had the little armor thong. Yeah, thong. 
I think in the Midwest it's called a cod piece. It is. It is. We still wear them. We call it a corn piece because we stuff it with corn. Less padding. Mm. But good for a snack. Good for a snack. <laughs> Mine's popping. Mine's popping. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to summertime, Dave. No, we're not. Third winter's coming. <sighs> the murder horns and the flame throwing squirrels are coming. I and like the the sodomy th- Actually, no, the flame throwing squirrels are going to take care of the murder horns. Oh, okay. But nothing stops well, Sodom the Goose. I'm still waiting for your Cthulhu up here. Uh, you know, I'm still waiting for that duck to come out. Oh, it's already appeared in his yeah. house. <laughs> He's a little gray. What happened to the green one? It's an exclusive, so he comes in a different color. So, Twilight Zone. Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> see, it didn't take long to fall off the train track. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I see a picture of me, and I'm done. Oh, that was your self-portrait. Got it. Yes. It's funny because on my screen, it's my face and your mouth. <laughs> Moves. Yep. If I do it just like this, yep, that's how it looks. <sighs> hey, you want your beard back? We can do the opposite. Oh, here we go. I mean, that's gonna... Yeah, this has gone really bad, Matt. Well, yeah, this is not a great meeting. There we go. Is that better for you? Yeah. You need a flat top, though. Mm. You're, you're squared off. The round doesn't work with the square. Mm-mm. You look more like an umbrella. All right. <laughs> so, I really think we need a little armor safe. Um... <laughs> I think it's very important. Okay, so here's my here's my one question because one of the things I built into it was an mm-hmm. armor cancellation factor. Yes. That to incorporate for units of a certain size to, to deflect those shots, they automatically canceled. So put an armor save on top of the canceled hits for an armor. So heavy infantry with shields are already going to deflect, say, five hits. <laughs> I, I think you're missing the point. The point is, is if you're the defender, you're not getting the roll dice against an attack. Right. You're taking that away from the defender. So, you know, there's a lot of gamers out there that, you know, first round, they lose half their force because somebody played a cheese ball list and, you know, shot their army across the field, you know, if I don't get a save, I'm going to be salty. We'll call me Salty Sam that day. More like cheese ball, Sam. You know, your, your, your hit dice, you know, I was, I, I paid attention to what you were, when, when you were rolling, you know, you were hitting on fours, on fours out of ten. So, at least a ten for no armor, you know, it's almost like a miraculous save. And how do you like about this, uh, certain units of certain size automatically canceling some hits for the extra level of protection? Like, you've got to get past it because they put shields up. If we saw arrows coming, they put shields yeah. up. It, it reflects that we are automatically, instinctively, you're getting, you're almost automatically getting some saves. So then if you factor in the 9s and 10s, you get some extra saves. Yeah. I could see that. Mm-hmm. Now what about like the the movement, like speed? Like, you know, when basically when I told Vivi to release the hounds the first turn, you know, I wanted, have. Dog, I wanted her to let the dogs go across the field and, you know, basically make you put your shots or concentrate on them. And, and we talked about it and it probably would have been a better tactic because, again, 
when you're looking at, we're totally getting into all the other topics now. When you're looking at historical ancient conflicts, they would have put the light infantry first. The light infantry was to absorb some of the arrows, to absorb the stuff. They were expendable while the heavier guys are coming up behind them for the shock. Well, at least for some, Macedonians over there passing out quickly. Yes, yes, cheap man. I, um, I'll be honest, I, I, while I like your idea of the instant, um, you know, because of what they have, they get the save, I guess it's just because it's not something I'm used to using, that it feels uncomfortable, wonky, I don't know the right term, but having played 40k and all these other games, um, you know, and of course I don't get a save in bolt action, um, Right. So I don't know what my issue is. Um, but it just, for this kind of game where I could see the armor and I could see the shield and I know how troops react when weapons are being fired, I just have a hard time because, you know, an instant is cool and it's very different and dynamic. Um, but it's, it's still, like, for some reason... Dice roll. I want a dice roll. I want to be able to defend myself. And how many times have you been in a game with someone who has the horrible dice and they always miss their saving throws by one? Then they should buy new dice. Not my problem. Not, but it is when it's you. Yeah, and I'm used to it. <laughs> I lose all the time. You just admitted. There you go. Knight of one. <laughs> you, you you have the option. You got to roll, even though your dice failed. You still got to roll by taking yep. the saving throw away. You've basically eliminated my chance to feel like I did something. Mm -hmm. You know, Dave, are you saying this little resin guy should be killed? And murdered just because Sam can't roll well. Yes. But he got to roll. Mm -hmm. Sam failed his troops. Yes. His troops didn't fail Sam. Shocking. So wait a minute, the leader should be taken out then. Well, the leader in your game can't be taken out. <laughs> I, I, try, I was, I was rude. Swing around, get him, Biffy, get him. <laughs> and like, you can't take out the leader. I was like, listen, I'm Mel Gibson. I'm taking out your your, your lieutenants first. Plus, it would help if uh, Viv was not playing somebody who changed the rules every five seconds. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I forgot this rule. I get to add like 37 more dice, Vivi, because I mm -hmm. lost. <laughs> well, and I still lost. What does that say? Let's talk about that, huh? You suck at cheating. <laughs> yes. So I still see this is my thing, Sam. I still want I still feel like I want to give that automatic you get to cancel X hits. I feel mm -hmm. like that's just um what would I'm trying to think of a game that would see that's more of a role playing game. Like there's an automatic assumption that something's gonna wear if you played Diablo computer game some of the Dungeon and Dragon stuff, it has wear and tear. Over time, so the armor falls game? apart. What? So we're playing a role-playing game here? No, but it's that simulation aspect to... Um, there's a certain innate ability that certain things did shed hits. What, Dave? You're, you're pulling too many games into one, into one game. You have the, There's a little bit of Frostgrave in your game. You know, there's other games in your game, which there's so many rules written, it's hard not to pull elements from games we love into a game we want to make. You know, um, a lot of the guys, like I said, I, I've been doing this for a long time. Back in 1902. <laughs> you need a walker there, I, I've had guys, Tony, Anthony, the wit, yeah. He basically wrote a game. He play tested it and play tested it for a while. And when he was ready to publish the rules, somebody published his rule set. 
Mm -hmm. So, you know, he basically... But I said, Tony, why did you give up on your game? Do you love your game? Somebody stole my rules. It's your game. If you're happy with it, be happy with it. Yeah. You know, my opinion is my opinion. This is your game. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you don't Mm -hmm. want saving throw dice, then don't have saving throw dice. You ask my opinion. My 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 opinion is is I want to roll dice to save my guys. At least let me feel like I I did something for my troops. You know, not well. He had a better (laughs) he had a better projectile weapon, a sling. Yeah, he had the sniper rifle of the decade. Unlike the, oh, all arrows are better. Like, I'm not playing a whole list of Goliaths, okay? I may have some little guys in there, too. Come back well, they're all coming from Macedonia. They all have uh, Napoleon complexes. Alexander the Great was first. I'm going to run a Viking <laughs> samurai Roman warband. Go mm-hmm. for it. Mm-hmm. Go for They're it. They're going to be called the Pandits. With midgets running behind them. That would be awesome. Uh, Can we make Wizard of the Oz with the Yellow Brick Road? If you build the terrain, I will play on it. Oh, how about we do uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? You want to fight the Oompa Loompas? Yeah! There's- I do want to talk about something in your game, though. And I don't know, you know, I know I had an itinerary. I, I can't remember the things. Good. Oh, we didn't have one. Um, okay, good. I loved the one miniature on the board <clears throat> with the paper. I I actually love that a lot. Now, mm-hmm. it takes away from the guys who want to paint a full army, mm-hmm. but it brings the guys in who just want a skirmish force. Mm-hmm. They can play that way. I, I, I did like that. And that's something that you really should incorporate in with what you're doing because you know for guys like me who work two jobs and you know got a lot of other stuff going on and even when i'm not working my second job i'm working so i think someone's playing a fiddle for you dave i thought he was trying to sew something there if i had to paint one guy for every unit that gives me something at least i can get that done you know and and that was the interesting thing we um one of because you brought that up last night while you watched because I did a a private play for these two guys and um yes would you like us to ship you the bill too Sam <laughs> um and I was just using this I have it right here actually um but we figured out this has to be bigger. So it has to be probably about this this wide for five across to give the um, so I'd have to measure the MDF bases for it. But yeah, so one guy represented the unit, and then we had a wonderful, very high tech post it note with statistics. Did you like that, Sam? He went mute. Apparently, his te- technical difficulties. No testicle difficulty. I'm so caught up by purple. <laughs> <laughs> Purple's the way to go. It's royalty. You Working should know by that, the Macedonians. I, didn't you paint purple over there? Don't you got a purple haze going on? Yeah, actually, I'm doing uh, purple for my uh, more important units. And uh, Thank you for saying I'm more important. No, that's a self-proclaimed title. You no, there, you said buddy. purple. Nobody. You did say that, Sam. <laughs> I give up. I've been failing like days in a row now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those ceilings. Anyway, so, but yeah. And all you need is the movement bases. Movement bases with one guy to so you know what each unit is, and it would be great. And it gives flexibility. So, and we're toying, I'm toying with some other ideas on it, so we're, we'll see. We've only had one play test so far. We'll see what else comes mm-hmm. up. Yeah, and the map wins every time rule, I'm assuming that's going to be going. I learned that from Sir Dave. 
You got a lot of other people winning for a couple of times, Sam. That's why you suck them into the game. Then you um, crush them. That's why no one plays. Just... Hey, Sam. Hmm? That's why no. no one plays Black Seas with you. Because I always lose. No, because you sunk all their ships. Stop! Stop drilling holes Sam, in their ships. Black Seas? You don't play Black Seas? Not anymore. What happened? Uh, I was told by my local player group that they refuse to get involved. Uh, That's what I'm voting right, Sam. That is a nice looking elephant. That's pretty good. So is that gold or is that bronze? It's gold, and then I end up doing a heavy wash on it. Then I do a dry brush of silver over it, then another dry brush of gold. And it gives it this, this weird bronze color I figured out. I kind of fun. Okay. Wait, where's the color? It, yeah, it's brass. Model color. Ooh, Vallejo. Vallejo's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, so, Sam, do you want to pitch anything else in about throwing dice? Um, no, I, the speed of things kind of threw me off. Um, but I think I've mentioned that once, and I think we agreed that we just needed to wait and see. It's just the, the general speed of units, um, throws me. Watching horses, you know, they're not really crashing across the field the way that war horses crashed across the field. Um, light horses were not lightning fast running into flanking maneuvers. And I think I just, it's just something that, that's off-putting to me is, you know, the whole point of having light cavalry was to just, just get in there. And I didn't see the getting their speed of them. Well, I also didn't do a full movement on turn one. You don't get shot up by the marchers. Hmm. But they did their full gallop on the second turn. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to get okay. stuck in and surrounded. Did all your, um, did all your uh, horses have riders, Matt? Oh, you mean the riderless riders? Oh, yeah. They were imaginary. They are... They're like Sam and his supposed Macedonian um, archers that are better than slingers. Maybe his are better. Maybe they've been trading longer. Oh, you mean... My, uh, I like my Macedonian horses, but I would say that have no riders. I know. Isn't that Useful. great? Thoroughbreds. Useful. They're thoroughbreds. They outstrip their riders. Sam, if only, if only you knew a place where you could get a spur of riders. Macedonian riders. Macedonian riders. You better be nicer. I'm. I have. I can be nice to Dave. I don't have to be nice to you. <laughs> I'm already in the door. <laughs> oh, let's see. How do we drop someone out of the call? <laughs> Go for it. How, how how do we do that? No, you gotta hang Matt. up. He already hung up on us once. There's no right. moderator. Oh. oh, what's this little button do? Oh, no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's not many things that uh, I, uh, I I lose my temper about. That's one of them. But be hung up on? Very... Yeah, if you, if you hang, make me hang up or something, I, you will see a very different Sam. Really? So, okay, let's mm -hmm. talk about anger and gaming. Have you flipped the table? No. No? It's gaming. So, I gotta tell you a funny story. You know, I got a game, got a game table. <laughs> I got a game table. Huh? Nothing. We got plural game tables in the store, and there was always guys that would come in and threaten to flip the table. And, uh, if you want my full undivided attention, Threaten to flip somebody's game table mm -hmm. with their miniatures and little men on it. Mm -hmm. You will see a side of me that not pretty. Yeah, no, I'm I'm with you on that one. I uh, yeah, I'd get pretty ugly. 
Let's have a spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt would lose. So no, that's what well, we told me. You're only we make it. A you told contest. me you're only an hour behind us in time. And then mm-hmm. you text and said, oh, I'll see you in a half an hour. And I'm like, wait a minute. Does nobody know what the time zones are? No. Uh, I have no idea where I am right now. Um, you going over? I'm having a good meeting. You got promoted to CEO after uh, two minutes into it. Where? What? Huh? Yep. Just let us know if the little plastic guys are walking across your table. No, I got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. My Oreos have. There's a lot of flash on these masts. This is going to be the prettiest ship ever. Is that the resin one or is that the metal? Metal mast. Base is resin. The masts are metal. Mm. Are they like this? Uh, yeah, a little, a little to the left. Nah, actually, for the most part, they were not bad. Yeah, I had one that I had to straighten out, but other than that, not bad at all. Okay. Do I have it? I think cruel seas are the worst I've seen so far. I tried to put together the merchant marine ship because my grandfather was on a merchant marine ship, and that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, we walked away from that. The lifeboat raft it is all twisted up usually, and uh, the main mast are all twisted up in cruel seas. But um, not as bad as Warlord's Jeep model and their window. <laughs> you have one, Sam? <laughs> Uh oh, I mean the Kuba wagon and the US Jeep are just horrendous for trying to put windows oh, on. That's not bad. Oh, that's really good. How many hours you spend on it? Well, I haven't. I just opened the package. It just arrived today. No, I'm used to the ocean one that looks like waves. <laughs> Yeah, I placed this order before Matt even added me into the Chuck's Bolt Action chat group. That's a long time. And it arrived today. So what have you been there? Two, three months now? Mm Mm-hmm. Italy? Is it coming from Italy? Warlord from England. Is Is that winter jeep? What is it? It's just regular jeep. So, and then someone sent me the old style Warlord Jeep, which I am quite fond of. I wonder who did that. Let me see the front end of it. That has a lot of packing gear on it. Mm hmm. We were getting them in for a while. The, the bumpers weren't formed on the one side. Mm-hmm. And, uh,. Basically, it got to the point where they kept sending me replacements. They're very good about that. And um, we had to just uh, green stuff the bumper Mm -hmm. for battle damage. Yes. Because we know our American GIs definitely crash those into everything they wanted to. Jump that hill, buddy. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, you better believe it. Matt wouldn't understand. I mean, you know. What are you trying to say? I don't know. I, I really had no where to go with that insult. I just needed an insult for Matt. So you just jumped off the cliff. There you go. 20%. Lemming. I feel like I'm missing something here. Would you like a bridge, Sam? Too far? Oh, uh, there's that one or the Brooklyn Bridge. Mm. I like the chocolates in the bridge mix. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. 
comic relief. Um, I refuse to uh, be part of any meeting from this point forward unless Dave's involved. <laughs> well, at least my special guest showed up. What happened to yours last time? Ooh. Your special guest? No, Jeff, uh, Jeff leads a pretty busy life, I will tell you that. So, well, didn't you just play a fiddle for me? <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Sam, would you like a shoe? No, I'm good. Okay, you sure? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go get Aiden and let him handle the rest of this meeting for me. Good luck. Sweet. <laughs> So Riley finished these up by himself. Oh, very cool. I'm glad that. Yeah, I out. can't wait. I can't wait for uh, things to start getting back to a little bit of norm because I don't have a lot of cool C's on my shelf. Yeah. And after watching the game, I'm like, yep, definitely want to partake in some of that. Well, whose yeah, fault I mean is that? Oh yeah, Sam. You that's the one game that's the one boat game you didn't get. What was up with that? I was waiting. There's actually a long story behind it, and I'll tell you when you're older. Really? Okay, I'm a second older. Good for you. You didn't say how older. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run 47 PT boats. <laughs> hey, they're nasty, huh? dude. They have so I'm much sure landing on craft. Them. Nothing but landing craft. Well, you can you get some of them ducks? Oh, but dual bazookas. Dual bazookas. You know, I don't think I'm a fan of two people ganging up on me. <laughs> How about just some ducks with the missile launcher tubes in it? <laughs> <laughs> Those are pretty cool ducks, though, aren't they? Yep. Mm -hmm. You go swimming often with your friends? Always swim with buddy. And the rest of the meeting is like this. <laughs> you need a sock. No? Manamana. <laughs> God, you're a loving. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh. Lord have mercy. Well, this went well, but um, I really can't think of anything else that we really need to work on with it. Um, I'm still convinced Matt's going to lose his mind at some point and just, you know, spin off the deep end, drug-filled, booze-filled binge, and uh, try and do his solo games and then come crawling back to us for some big convention. No, I mean... You know what the, the most disappointing part is? I didn't get one project done while we were in lockdown. And that's my beach cliffs. I haven't finished. I haven't worked on those at all. I, uh, I have painted 356 miniatures for other people during lockdown. But that's a good thing. It is. And you painted a good portion of your own stuff, too. Let's see. For my Americans, I have a squad, my HQ, and a Jeep. Uh, my Germans, I just finished a seven-man squad, and I have one Macedonian and half of an elephant painted. That's a lot. Did you paint the one part you talked about last night? Huh? Did you paint the one part you talked about last night? No. No, painted at all today during lunch. No, no, the one part of the elephant you were talking about. Oh, I did. It had to. <laughs> I hope you made that a lighter shade of gray. I had to. I had to. Close ups on Instagram. I will. Don't you worry. It'll be out there. Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Let's see. <laughs> did I paint anything else? Oh, I've been painting all my North Koreans, but I'm waiting to show those once the entire army's complete. How about WWX? You painted a decent portion of that. I did paint a decent portion of WWX, but I got a new shipment of it today. Oh. 
You have so many little pieces scattered everywhere. I do. That's why I like you, Sam. I'm not even going to let you look at my gaming bags. <laughs> <sighs> I just pulled out one of my bolt action bags to see what I had in it. And there's this guy. There's, there's not even a base. Who, who says he needs a base? There's the base. It's the... I forget what year is that. That's a year. That's a special model for a year. That's right. Richard, Richard D. Winters. Yep. I got it at one of the, the uh, historic uh, the HMGS shows up in Lancaster. Uh-oh. Sam's going to pull out his special. Look at what I got. Kurt Nipsel. <laughs> what? Let me see it again. Hang on. I'm, I'm readjusting the light. Which means i got to move stuff. <laughs> Picking up a little bit. Ah, uh, very cool. Yeah. They do good. They, I like their special models. They usually have uh, mm -hmm. dynamic faces. I yeah. can't wait for I can't wait for his mystery box to get there. I just tracked it. Yeah. It's in Boise. It's in what? Boise. <laughs> Hey, Sam, I thought you straightened that out and they had it in the right state. No, because earlier I went to Illinois at, like, lunchtime, and that's where it told me it's been sitting all day. Well, it's in a state with an I in it. It starts with I. Boise. <laughs> I can't wait for you to see the, the special models I sent you. Right? But you can't wait to see the special models I sent you. I can't wait to see any of it. It's going to have such a special army inside. Airplane! Airplanes! <laughs> Remember, you picked your box numbers. John like did say, apparently I've been tagged with some Blood Red Sky stuff somehow. And because John, in the middle of a meeting, not only talked about my Macedonian experience, I goes, oh, yeah, it's Sam's new blood <laughs> red sky stuff. And all of us were like, what? Sam? Well, you like the Prussian Air Force, right? They had Zeppelins. All right. Well, I'm blocking him on my screen. <laughs> What's up, Dave? What's wrong with Zeppelins? Zeppelins are awesome. <laughs> Sam? Yeah. I may, I may have a commission for you. Yeah? Yeah. Because these I want done, and I want them done well. Oh, well, you came to the wrong person. <laughs> well, nobody else likes me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just let me be my friend. I need... Uh... Oops. Let's get this up here. Oh... Well, lucky for you, and I will send you the pictures, I have painted 40 Blood Red Skies planes for an event. Before, oh, yeah? So, yeah. I'm just, I don't like airplanes, so I don't show it. So, well, you, need to, you need to showcase it. I know. <sighs> you paint what you're told, I need not what you painted. want. I need these painted like Bob Bob Black Sheep. Okay. After he paints it. Out the, call it out on the interweb. Yeah, I'm going to. When are you going to paint that um, paid in, uh, pad and tank? Uh, probably once I'm done with the sheer amount of, uh, uh, commissions I've got going on right now. My stuff is not the priority when it comes to commissions. I the poor little lamb, the bottle. Huh? I didn't think that was a personal piece. I thought that was a mission from high above. <laughs> it is. It's just he understands that my business has to come first right now, so. And look, they built a ship while we were talking. Ooh, the poor little lambs. Oh, that's easy. 
What are you trying to say about Dave? But it's easy. No, the, the planes, they're easy. Doing the sticker work is going to be harder. Yeah. I want Pappy written inside the one. Okay, can do. <laughs> With four kills. Four kills? Okay. You see Matt over there trying to do math. One, two, <laughs> seven, time zone. Now you worth my time. Too easy. Oh, probably. It might be worth your time. I this is your champ. So this is Matt from the Dice of the Round Table signing off with my two guests, Knight Jeep. Okay. Head rocking out. And Dave. Thanks for taking the time to join.